Haskell education is very important for IOHK for pragmatic reasons because it's the main language we use to implement the Cardano protocol. But we also feel that um, going beyond this, it's just generally important that more people learn about Haskell because it's a beautiful language and you can write precise code in it that is mostly correct by construction. And um, so we feel that the more people know about it and learn about it, the better. So it's very important for us at IHK to educate both external people, like we did the Haskell courses um, on Barbados and last year in Athens, but also internally for our people that, of course, are already experienced Haskell developers, but there's always room to learn more. And we definitely encourage that and try to help people to, to continue improving all the time. This property-based testing is a very nice technique, much more powerful than the usual unit tests that are deployed in, in other mainstream languages. So um, it's important that we learn how to do that, also how to do it in, in very complex systems like Cardano, so that um, we can be as sure as possible in the absence of mathematical proof that our software is correct. For this training, we chose Cubic as a partner. Cubic is founded by John Hughes, who is one of the, the towering figures in the Haskell world. He's one of the original creators of Haskell, and he's the inventor of QuickCheck, the most common library used for property-based testing. And um, we are just very honored and very lucky that he agreed to do the testing because we feel, I mean, there's nobody better positioned in the whole world to, to talk about this. I mean, it's, it's the technique he invented almost 20 years ago. So my vision for future education efforts regarding Haskell education at IOHK is to, in principle, continue in the same spirit. So now we realize that we need this property-based testing to ensure that our software works as perfectly as it can. And we, when we saw there was a need for a training, we contacted John Hughes and he agreed to do this training for us. And my vision is just that in future, whenever a situation arises where we see that our developers would need some extra skill or learn about a new technique, then we will again try to find the perfect expert and then arrange the training and make sure that our developers are always up to the task.